Halo Infinite's E3 2021 presentation is going to be one of the most important days in Halo's history. For being one of the most anticipated games, a lot of people have high hopes and are expecting a lot more than last year's presentation. So in this video, we're going to talk about what to expect for E3 2021. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So what is Halo Infinite going to show at E3 this year? We've had a lot of rumors. We've seen a lot of campaign stuff. We've had some insiders kind of point us towards the right direction, which I believe they are correct. And they saying that they are. But what we will see for Halo Infinite. And a lot of people have really built up their expectations and they're maybe kind of expecting something a little bit more than what we might actually get. So I want to do is talk about the presentation itself what should we expect to see have happen? What do we know from other leaks and rumors and stuff like that to kind of get a nice little picture of what to expect? So guys like these kind of news and informational videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to update with everything going on with Halo as it ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe. Let's get right into the content here. June 13th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time is when the presentation will happen. We'll, we will be doing a live stream watch party, guys, on my Twitch channel. Link in the description of this video. We do stream every Tuesday and Thursday night as well. But recently, Xbox released an image saying that they've got the time and the date available for us to check out with a big emphasis on Halo and also a little bit on Starfield as well. But the interesting thing I want to point out is with the image that we got for the promotional content for the reveal, it doesn't show Master Chief at all. In fact, it shows a squad of Spartans on the screen. I believe this is like the first promotional material that we've had officially about Halo Infinite that doesn't showcase Master Chief at all, which makes me believe and a lot of other people within the community believe we'll be seeing a multiplayer reveal for E3. In this one, we'll get a good idea of what kind of abilities we'll have. Most likely we'll have Sprint and Clamber coming back as that was shown within the campaign reveal. What kind of weapons we'll have, what kind of new weapons we'll have as well. Possibly some information on the customization. I think we'll have a big push for talking about how this game is going to be free to play. I think we'll get a good idea of what kind of game modes we'll have as well. Will BTB 2.0, would Battle Royale be revealed within this showcase? If it's there, I believe they'll talk about it because we haven't really seen anything like some new cool game mode that get people excited about this game. Because right now we know nothing. All we've seen is campaign content. So now is the time to showcase some multiplayer because what we saw last year is pretty much what we're going to get when it comes to the campaign stuff. Not a whole lot's gonna change right there. Because you gotta think of that as a whole, right? What were the complaints mainly from the reveal? Were the visuals. Nothing about the gameplay. Nothing really about the graphics themselves, honestly. More just like the functionality and how kind of buggy the game looked for the presentation. Which brings me on to my second point, the graphics. We will be getting a nice comparison, I'm sure, and at least talking about maybe some technical things that they've changed or things that they've increased or updated since the reveal, because that's going to be the big thing people are going to be keeping an eye on. That's probably another thing that gaming media is going to really try to push an issue on, because a lot of people are saying that this game doesn't really look like a true next-gen experience and possibly that the Xbox One's holding it back graphically. Though the like true next-gen looking games that we've had, like Cyberpunk and Horizon Forbidden West, certainly have their issues with Cyberpunk getting lawsuits for how bad that game performed, and Forbidden West from Horizon we're only running at 30 frames per second. And we've definitely had some updates from 343 within these Inside Infinite updates, talking about the graphics and showcasing the world and stuff like that, and how things have visually have drastically changed and improved, honestly. But I don't think it's going to be a kind of like wow, night and day kind of change when it comes to how the graphics look within the game. I think what you're going to see mainly is functionality and like draw distance and things like that. The little things that you mainly pick up while you're playing the game, that's the kind of stuff that I think is going to get really improved on, but you're not going to be like seeing like a completely overhauled visual presentation of Halo Infinite, you're going to be seeing kind of what we saw at the E3 2020 reveal, but like without like the, dis the choppy disappearing grass, the trees and geometry looking like blobs and, and with all the pop in textures and things like that. I'm assuming that stuff's going to be alleviated. And uh, that's also what like the insider Clobro on Reset Era's forum mentioned that as well. So honestly, when you look at this presentation, you're going to go, well, I thought they're going to improve the graphics and they definitely will. It's just that that's Halo's art style that they're going for because they need to make sure that this game with its semi open world and large expansive gameplay environments that need to be able to run this game at a smooth 60 frames per second at least least 1080p, if not 4K on the Xbox Series X. So will graphics be jaw-droppingly better? 
No, not at first glance, but when you actually kind of dissect it, kind of like what people did with the 2020 reveal, you'll start realizing, oh, they actually made quite a lot of improvements. But we've actually seen this examples within the recent infinite development updates and showing that the draw distance has improved, the texture quality has improved a lot as well. And to round out that presentation for Halo Infinite, we're going to get a release date. I have a very strong feeling we're going to get a release date. Now, why is that? Because, well, they've had three years to figure out when they're going to release this game. Once the delay was announced, we actually saw Bonnie Ross saying, hmm, 2021, someone has an anniversary happening that year, right? Yes, November 15th would be the 20th anniversary anniversary of Halo. That's one hinting towards a November release. Recently, the Master Chief himself, Steve Downs, in an interview revealed that they're saying that the game should be all shipped and ready to go in November. Everything seems to be on track now for a November uh, release on Infinite. Another voice actor that's going to be in Halo Infinite, who's a brand new character, said that the game should be ready and shipped in November as well. So now it's pushed till later November of this year. So I think right now it's like the worst kept secret that Halo Infinite's re release date is going to be in November. If anything, maybe November 15th, which would fit well because it'll happen right before Black Friday, which is the highest selling day of any product ever in the US every year. And the other thing is, I've seen a lot of people talking about, at least the insiders like Jeff Grubb and Clobro both mentioned to not really expect like a full like huge deep dive into Halo Infinite. This whole Xbox presentation is 90 minutes long. Remember that there are 21 Xbox first party studios involved with this presentation. Now, now every studio is going to have something big that announce or even show. Yes, that's very true. And I do believe that Halo Infinite and Starfield will have a good, the majority share of the time within that 90 minutes, but it's only 90 minutes to show everything Xbox has to offer. We're talking games, we're talking Game Pass, we're probably a good conversation about the Bethesda Zenimax edition as well, and probably some like little celebration about it being 20 years of Xbox this year. I've seen Clobro mention that the time should be probably around 10 minutes, which is honestly about the same amount of time that we had last year, which I know 10 minutes might sound really disappointing, but also remember that the marketing is going to start back up as well for Halo Infinite. Sketch even brought this up as well, saying that they're only just getting started when it comes to the marketing for Halo Infinite. And we will also get a blog update corresponding with the reveal as well as we have every year for the last three years when a new reveal of Halo Infinite comes out. We have a nice blog update going into some more details about that kind of stuff. That's where I'm assuming we'll hear some more information about the Insider program as well. I wouldn't expect to hear that at all at E3. Because if 343 made that announcement E3, you guarantee there would be hundreds of thousands of people trying to sign up to play Halo Infinite early, riding that hype train. But the thing is that having that many people storm your website at once will completely crash the site, people will get mad, probably write some news articles or some make some videos talking about how terrible 343 is. It would be a nightmare because it would overload the servers. So yes, the presentation is going to be extremely important because it's going to be the first impressions again for Halo Infinite and it's going to set the tone moving forward until the release this fall. So while first impressions are extremely important, they're not everything when it comes to this game and the news and info moving forward, which we will be covering on this channel. So if you guys have missed any content from me recently or bad loop for Halo for the last few days or so, check out the videos on the screen right here if you want to catch all the news. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.